Welcome back to Tightlining Maryland. I am, as maybe the hat will give away, I am in PA. I was torn between where I wanted to go today. I kind of made a last minute decision to head up here, but I figured with all of the uh, stuff that I had recently bought, so for example, um, the hat that I'm wearing from Rep Your Water, I figured would be good. Um, I just recently picked up this t-shirt as well from Allegheny Native, love their channel, and um, figured I would support them by grabbing a t-shirt. And then I also have a little day pack from Lively Leg. So uh, I figured with all of this Pennsylvania paraphernalia, if you will, I figured today would be a good day to hit some of their streams. So for that reason, I'm going to fish two streams probably equally today, um, and that'd be about it. I'm actually at a tributary right now. One of those streams that I'll just wet my line briefly um, and hopefully pull out a wild brown. However, I'm going to fish the Cadoras Creek, which just happened to be stocked. Um, I kind of fell into the the fact that the stocking schedule showed me that they just got stocked this week I believe the third um, and then after the Cadoras I intended on hitting Muddy Creek uh, the fly fishing only section so streams I've only fished um, once but wanted to get back to this year and figured it was only about a 45 minute ride so uh, I ventured back into PA so maybe um, not next week, but the following, maybe I'll get into Maryland again, because Big Hunting Creek was a, uh, a pretty huge success, I felt, um, you know, quality week and put out some good content, but hopefully today I can get into, uh, some better content for you guys. So thanks for coming back and watching the next video and hopefully, uh, we bring some fish to net. So enjoy. At a tributary of, um, the Cadoras. And it's one in which uh, has a class A uh, section on it. So this classification tells me that there are wild brown trout in here. Um, no clue, you know, how many fish I may or may not get into. Might be one, might be none, could be a handful, but um, I already see some water that looks pretty fishable. So hopefully we can, you know, snag one on camera uh, before we head over to the next stream. So we'll do a nice bow and arrow cast in here. Ah, missed one. Missed him again. Got one. Don't have my net on me, but we've got a wild brown trout pulled out of this nice little class A stream. Oh, beautiful fish. I'm gonna wet my hands though. Should have brought my net down. Wasn't very smart. Oh. That is a nice fish out of this tiny little stream. So probably eight or nine inches, solid fish. Came out from underneath of this rock and there he goes. Oh, good start to the day. And got a wild brown trout on film, so a little scouting and hard work paying off. So, nice fish.
I got on a nice, what I think is a stock brownie. Oh, try to get him in that. There we go. Yep, stock brownie. Solid fish. Probably 14 inches. He took the lively legs um, pheasant tail. So my first fish with a lively legs product. So not bad. A uh, stock brownie. Good start to the day. the trout on looks like a brownie didn't didn't know if I was gonna get one out of this hole oh excuse me looks like a rainbow no I don't know we'll figure it out once he gets the net oh. get him upstream oh. exactly what you don't want is in between your legs there we go all right. Let's use this rod holder that I bought. Perfect. So another one on the lively legs. I'm doing well on that. So it's a uh, stock brown. You can kind of tell again of the dull, dull colors. Uh, and the fact I don't know how to handle them. It's another dead giveaway. Oh. Let's try this again. But uh, still a solid fish. It's two for the day. Didn't take long. Probably 13 inches. Not a bad fish, not a great fish, but a fish. That's what we're here for. All right, so we got a nice little spot here on the Cadoris. Um, so we got a overhang branch, overhang bush. Um, really the same thing, but one's just a little larger than the other. Uh, it's not a real deep lie, but if I'm not mistaken, I can kind of see one, just saw one, spooked one. So that's a shame. Should have been crouching. There's a tip for you today. Um, so taking a knee is key, um, but I know that they're in here. So now it's just a matter of presenting to them. But again, spooking them doesn't help the cause. So that's that's definitely on me. Forgot my polarized sunglasses, which doesn't help for scouting purposes, but still glasses or not I should have known to should have known to crouch so I spooked the one fish out of here and now it's time to move up a little bit faster water broken water um, you know one key difference between the last hole and this hole that I should have recognized and you know been a little bit more mindful of this water right here is tougher for fish to see out of this broken water with the you know faster current coming in you know that's one in which I can kind of not stand but definitely if I wanted to I probably could um, and not spook the fish as easily it doesn't mean I wouldn't but it's a little bit easier to creep up on them but back there in that hole where that fish was that I know that I spooked that is slower water even with it being a little off color they can still see up um, so that was definitely a mistake on my part so let's see if we can't get a drift in this section and pull out a fish All right, well, we pulled one out. Uh, looks like a wild fish. It is, uh, just looks like a dace of some kind, maybe. Um, so let's try to get him back in. All right, so I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, put on a little bit of flash, streamer, see if we can't coax one to just have a uh, predatory take. Alright, 
us up. We coaxed one into taking the streamer. The lively leg streamer. And it looks like it's a wild fish out of the Cadoris. Hitting that streamer. I love it. I love it. I love it. First drift. Oh yeah, that's a wild fish. Beautiful fish. This fish took it in the eye. So another tip. Um, luckily that just popped out and didn't affect his eye as much as I thought it was going to. But um, very, very pretty, healthy, healthy, healthy um, wild brown trout out of the Cadoris. Uh, you know, again, pinch your barbs. There's a guy I fish with out in Western Maryland. Uh, it's a guide, his name is PJ Daly. That is his number one rule. Pinch your barbs, and I violated it. So I have to apologize to, to PJ for that. Um, but that wild fish took this streamer after I got a couple good drifts in that hole of nothing. Um, you know, I'm happy to say that I was able to get that fish and switch it up. Nothing better than making an adjustment and catching a solid wild fish. So again, two lessons learned uh, that need repeated. Firstly, um, make sure that when you come up on a hold, the water's a little bit more flat and moving slowly, crouch. When you're at broken water, you can start to stand a little bit more upright because the fish have a tougher time seeing out of it. Um, and secondly, pinch your barbs. Uh, with that said, it is uh, something that just helps keep that wild trout population healthy. Um, you know, it minimizes the damage done to the fish. Um, and today, I'm listening to one of my Kish, uh, excuse me, Kish Creek tips, and I have on a wading belt today that hopefully you can see. Tilt the camera a little bit more. I put on my belt, even though the water's not very low, but what I am wearing is a uh, belt clip for the rod. So whenever I'm changing flies or, you know, whenever I'm making adjustments, that's something I can tuck, um, you know, right there along my hip. Most importantly, whenever I'm catching fish. So that allows me to, you know, do what I need to do and not have to worry about stepping on my rod, which I've done, having to worry about, um, you know, any issues at all that, oh, there's another take. They're just hitting this dead drifted streamer. All right, so I'm back to a bridge where I had a fish strike earlier and I missed him. So I'd like to see if this deep little hole where they probably dump fish still got anything in it. Had a big brown trout come out and swipe for that. <sighs> Tough to tell if he would have been wild or a stocky, but we're gonna put that back in there and see if he won't take. I'm on some good water. I have a nice little undercut bank with these tree stumps. I know I have some deeper water ahead that I've seen before uh, when kind of scouting this creek like to get a few good drifts through here and there's one i knew that was gonna happen so brown trout took the squirmy worm right where you're supposed to be unfortunately though barbless hooks come right out The way it goes. But it's the right attack. I mean, right there in that undercut, that's where you're supposed to be.
Well, first fish of the day. It is a uh, fat smallmouth. But we'll take it, because it's a fish. Alright guys, there is a very, very large rainbow or brown trout out in front of me and he has turned on this streamer twice and not taken. So I am trying avidly to coerce this fish into a take. Got one. Nice jump. I don't know if it's the same fish, but it's a fish, and that's what we're here for. And there was a fish that rose right up down there. Yeah, this is not the same fish, but this is still a nice fish. Oh, and makes two on the day. Out that goes, and there he goes. Well, I missed him the first time, he came back for it a second, so we'll take it. Looks like we got a brown trout this time. Oh. Okay. Thin fish. Not the healthiest, but healthy enough to eat that. Ah! Just had another rainbow take, but I missed him. Got him that time. Oh, same fish, same take on the dead drift. Nicer fish too. Good jump. Good color to him as well. Got a little bit of life left in him. Let's try to get this guy in that. And there we go. Fell right out. goes. I think we're up to five fish now. You got one brown and four rainbows. It's 
pretty good day. And I haven't even started tight lining yet. Just chucking a streamer today. Thanks a lot, Lively Legs. Let's go water for that streamer though. It's uh, got some deeper holes that feel like it kind of would be difficult to get down and, and it's got some good riffles and runs that I can just kind of work my way through. But uh, right now, I'm liking what, I, what I've had so far. Nice fish. Very nice fish. Oh, probably the best fish of the day, but he is on a barbless hook. Stay down. Not quite ready to come in yet. Oh man, that's a good fighting fish. Stay downstream. Come on. I think he's ready. And there we go. Nice fish. And that hook is already out. Ah, you gotta love barbless for that very reason. But could have lost that fish just as easily with barbless. Nice fish. Put him back in the water for a sec. Whoop. 